So I started uh, EA Coedding's Viking Pathworking Magic course, and uh, so far I'm really, really liking it. Uh, it's starting off nice and simple, which is really good. You know, um, sorry, sorry, it's cold. I was just hiking. It's tiring. Um, let me take this off. But, um, yeah, so I did start the course, and it's starting off really slow, which is nice. You know, I've I've tried to start magical paths in the past and one problem I always had with them was that they just threw way too much at you too fast you know you're like on the first lessons and they're throwing all these esoteric symbols you have to memorize and invocations and all this ritual gear you have to buy none of which is cheap you know but uh this course is really nice it's really just getting to the basics of spiritual practice which is just clearing your mind um and part of that is uh, EA, he advises people to get out in nature. In fact, it seems like the whole course is going to revolve around getting out in nature. And that makes me really happy because even before I knew about this course, long before it came out, that's really what I was already doing. You know, I'm originally from the city, but I moved out to an area like this specifically just to get away from all the noise and kind of the rat race that comes with city life and just get out amongst the environment, you know, because that is where I feel the most spiritually connected. So the fact that uh, getting out in nature is so much encouraged, that definitely gives me a lot of encouragement because it's, I feel like I'm already on the right track and that uh, this is, this is a good path to uh, take up. And I've always been really fascinated by uh, the old Norse religion and Norse magic and, you know, the runes and the gods and, and all that. But, uh, you know, a lot of what I was seeing when I would research like Asatru and, and paganism, it seemed like more of a religious thing. So I never really went there. Um, so yeah, this, this course is, I think is kind of what I've been waiting for. So the, uh, first lesson, I'm not going to reveal too much cause I don't want to get in hot water legally, um, with, you know, become a living God or anything like that. And, you know, I think people, people should pay for spiritual knowledge. I don't think it should be for free. But um, what I will say is that it's basically just about noticing. The first meditation he teaches is just about noticing everything. You know, noticing the trees and, and the sky and your body. Um, well, what he called it was uh, getting in touch with Midgard, which is the physical world. And um, so that's what I was doing today. Um, you know, I went on a hike, I tired myself out, and I just really just kind of connected with the trees and the sky and everything and realized the connection of everything and how much power there is in nature and everything that comes with it. And uh, some inner stuff came up when I was doing that, which is another thing that uh, he said would happen when you do this exercise is that inner stuff would come up. And really, I think what you know, the earth or, or the spirits or what, whatever was going on was telling me when I was doing this was that before you could become a master wizard, before you could master the spirit world, you have to master yourself. And that's a lot of what was coming up was kind of just inner junk and uh, sadness and stuff. And I just realized that I have a lot of inner shit that I still have to deal with, you know, and I think... I think the lesson I got was absolutely correct. I mean, if you look at legends of wizards, you know, like Merlin or Gandalf, I mean, were they, were they depressed? <laughs> you know, were they all fucked in the head over some dumb shit, you know, over shit that other people have said or sh bad stuff that your mind says to you, you know, no. So I think I'm going to be doing this course very, very slowly because of this realization that I had today um, that I need to do a lot of healing before I could hope to, you know, connect to the spirit world and become this magical being that I want to be. So I think I'm going to start doing Reiki again. I used to do Reiki, um, and it was very powerful. It was very healing, but I stopped doing it. But the energy's still there. You know, that's the thing about Reiki is once you've been attuned, the energy never leaves you. You know, every time I meditate, I, uh, I feel it in my hands. I feel just power and the and the reiki energy in my hands it's almost like it's been screaming at me for me to use it like just begging me please use me use me and uh now i'm listening now i'm listening because i really 
you know, once, once again, not to be too redundant, but I definitely need to master myself before I could master, you know, the spirit world before I could connect with the gods. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, so far, great course. I can't wait to see, uh, what is to come. I'm very, very excited.